I'm Kevin Raber, CEO and publisher of Loomis Landscape. I'm in southeast Washington in an area called the Palouse. This is wheat country and farmers plant tons of wheat in this super fertile soil. It's one of the largest wheat producing areas of the country. The wheat grows quickly, turns green, and uh, you're dealing with rolling hills that just change with the light as it happens. A lot of what we're looking at here is glacial moraine. That is the soil and the rocks in front of the glacier. And when the glacier retreats, it leaves these massive rolling hills behind it as the ice melts and uh, the material that's actually in and on the glacier uh, falls to the ground. We started off in 70 degree weather and we're in the middle of June and uh, we woke up to 40 degree weather today. That's kind of what you get in the Palouse. It's very, very nice. This is pushing my boundaries a little bit in terms of looking at the geometry of the fields, looking at the lines, textures, colors, even something as normal as just plowed soil takes on a character all of its own. Uh, when you begin to look at it with a, a long lens and with a little bit of positioning, you can pull out things that are almost magical. There's hundreds of square miles of just beautiful, gorgeous scenery. You know, there's photo ops around every corner. It's this tremendous confluence of land, and sky, just a landscape shooter's paradise. So I've been coming into Palouse now for almost 18 years. Even though I have a number of places I've marked on my maps for the years, there's not an overlook, there's not a parking lot, there's not a spot you pull over to shoot the Palouse. The Palouse you've got to find, you've got to hunt, you've got to chase the light. So this is my fourth trip with Kevin. Uh, my first trip was Chile and southern Bolivia uh, and the Atacama. Then I did a trip with him to Antarctica. He gives you high value. I don't have to worry about where to go. I don't have to worry about anything. Just tell me when to get up, where to be there, and he takes care of everything else. He drove us for 12 full hours yesterday. He knows these places. He's been coming here for years. And his depth of knowledge of the terrain and the people, uh, the culture of this place, the way to shoot it is just uh, unparalleled. It is an amazingly um, vibrant experience to ride around and have a uh, verbal encyclopedia. With a long lens, when you come up here later on, you can just do all sorts of crazy, crazy cool stuff. Just shooting the abstracts of the, of the hills and the shadows and the curves is, you know, it's just infinite possibilities in terms of what you can shoot and what you can see. And it changes moment to moment with the cloud covers blowing across. So it's just absolutely terrific. We do our workshops with just one vehicle and four attendees. We can go anywhere because we have four wheel drive. So we go up a lot of the dirt roads and through the, the hills and try to get to the top of some of the ridges. We photograph a ton of abandoned homes. There's abandoned houses and barns all over the place out here. Really make for some stunning pictures with the backgrounds and so forth. And old vehicles and old trucks. God, it's like somewhere along the line and everything can tell a story. Somebody one day closed the door of their house and left, or they turned the key off on the truck and got out and never moved it again. So you see tons of these stories out there. There's a lot of things that are just amazing to photograph. One of the things that we had the opportunity to do is visit a, uh, a family farm here that Kevin's been coming to and knows the people. And we had unique access to just being immersed in the landscape in the middle of this farm, as far as the eye could see, you had uh, a confluence of dirt and sky and different colors. Uh, it was just amazing and a very unique experience and I think Kevin's probably one of the few people that could make that work and happen here. Kevin kept telling, telling us about this lone, lone tree. Uh, he basically sort of built it up pretty big and we rolled around a corner and came down an incline and there it was sitting in front of us. So, to describe it, there's this great big green field full of presumably, I think, wheat. And there's a swale, um, and right in the center of that swale was this beautiful 
looking tree. So, and the clouds, you have these big cumulus clouds kind of coming out of the, the west and uh, letting the light sort of come through. So as we set up for the shot, we just basically waited for a break in the clouds to essentially move towards that tree. And then when it was completely illuminated, we just shot like crazy. And we did that, I think, three times. For every trip I have, I have a sort of an iconic image of that trip. And for me, that iconic image is gonna be that single tree that Kevin was so excited about. It's, it's really something. There's also a place called Steptoe Butte, which it's kind of like a mountain in the middle of all these rolling hills. And you can drive all the way up to the top and see the whole Palouse for miles and miles and miles. And when the sun becomes down, it basically starts showing a three-dimensional effect. And you can put a long lens on and you can just hunt out hundreds of different pictures. It's just a remarkable spot, one of my most favorite places. I call it sort of the Tuscany of America in regards to at least the rolling hills and so forth. Uh, there are no castles and villages. Actually, <laughs> the towns and villages here you know, are pretty old, pretty small, and um, make for an interesting cultural experience by visiting them. These are all professional pictures, and that's my dad. Ah. And he, he wanted, they wanted him to be in the picture, so he grabbed the pitchfork <laughs> uh. <laughs> and stood there. And this was the second one. That's my yeah. mom, and that was on the front page of the Chronicle in Spokane. The last time I did it is the way it is now. Well, I would definitely come back, and I would bring people with me. Um, whether they're photographers or not, it's hard not to fall in love with the area. It is America's secret. You know, everyone talks about different parts of the country that appeal to them, but the Palouse should appeal to everyone. It truly is a unique place here with the rolling hills and different types of terrain and different colors of the sky and the earth. I'm looking forward to coming back here in the autumn and seeing sort of it transition from green to browns and yellows in a different season. Bottom line is, this is one of my favorite places on the planet. It's one of my favorite places to come. I usually make two to three trips a year here and I highly recommend it. If you go by yourself, great. If you want to come with me, I know all the spots. It's a small group, it's all inclusive. We eat well, we talk photography, and we have a damn good time. Hopefully I'll see you on one of my trips and definitely I'll see you on the Loomis Landscape.